Hey guys, Nick with Crack Detachment here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to field strip your Benelli Nova. Let's get it started. Alright guys, so anytime we do work on firearms, you want to do safety first. So we're going to check here real quick just to make sure that the firearm is unloaded and safe. Visually inspect it, look at the plug, nothing there. Alright, we're good to go. So the first step we're going to do is we're going to move the cap here on the end of the tube. Now you want to keep this handy as this is actually a tool in the process. So we're going to take it, we're going to set it aside. Now we remove our barrel. Okay, the next step here is we're going to remove these pins. Now you're going to want to push them from the uh, open receiver part out. So I'm going to flip this around. Now here's the tool. On the end of your cap here, there's that little uh, part that sticks out. You're going to want to use those to push your pins. Now, if you just uh, got your firearm, this could be kind of difficult, or if it's relatively new, it could be difficult. So if you can't physically pull it out, there's a couple things you can do. You can take your cap here, and that's teethed, so you can use it to pull up on the pin. Or, if you can get one pin out, use the pin to push out your other pins. Now, what you want to do is these pins are actually different sizes, so you want to set them the way they came out. If you didn't do that or worried about it, don't worry. The longer pin goes to, towards the front of the shotgun, the shorter one, shorter one to the rear. We'll set these aside. All right, so once we got that done, we're just going to pull up on our trigger guard to remove it. There we go. Again, if it's new, the part can be a little difficult. All right, so now we got this out. We're going to move this uh, pump. We're going to pump action it to the rear, I should say. And then what we're going to want to do is there's rods inside here. We're going to want to lift those up and take it forward here because these catch on the bolt. We're going to move this. Now that we've got that, just the bolt is left inside. What you want to do is you'll want to take it and push it all the way back to the rear with both fingers and lift it out. So you'll want to take it, push back so it rotates, comes out. So there we go guys, if you need to clean it, do any maintenance, you can do that right there. Let's start assembling it. So we're going to take our bolt, compress it, and put it in. Go. Now, take our hand guard here. Let's put that in. Now, this part can be a little tricky because you have to line both of them up and basically uh, the holes that guide it back. But once you get it in, take it all the way back and you may have to lift it up over the bolt. Then, what you want to do is there's indents in the rods that line up on the bolt. Make sure that it's lined up. And then if you run it here, if you uh, pump it, your bolt slides. So once we get that done, we're going to move it to the front here. Make sure you don't overrun your bolt because those guide rods will go over it. We're going to put our action, or I'm sorry, our trigger group back in here. Do the front first and then slide it in. There we go. Now we're going to put our pins back in. Now remember, we take our pins, the longer one goes towards the front. So we'll take it. Put them in right there. Again, take your little cap here. Make sure those pins are all the way in. Uh, obviously, they go in just a little bit on this side, and they're pretty much flush on this side. So now we're just going to add our barrel on. And then we take our cap. And there we go. Now, what I always do anytime I work on a firearm is basically I want to cycle it to make sure every part is still functioning. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the safety on, make sure I can't pull the trigger. I'm going to take the safety off, pull the trigger, cycle it, reset, again. There. Now we know it's working. So there you go, guys. That is how to field strip your Brunelli Nova. Catch you guys next time.